Having grown up in Venezuela and South America, uh, there the temperature changes, for example, uh, you know, there's more temperature variation from day to night than there is over the entire season, for example. Uh, there's a wet season and a, and a dry season, but there isn't a season like we have here in the Northern Hemisphere where we're getting ready to go into fall and we anticipate uh, winter, colder temperatures. It just kind of goes to show people's perspective of change is different depending on where you live, of course. So this really kind of reinforces the, the, the types of things that NASA does in, in the sense that we do study changes across a, a whole range of spatial scales and temporal scales. So things that are changing on a daily basis such as you know solar energy or temperature, uh, things that are changing maybe on a more of a monthly or weekly basis, which could be sea surface temperature, uh, surface greenness, for example. When we look at one decade against the next is when we can start seeing that things are getting warmer from decade to decade to decade, and not necessarily from day to day or week to week, month to month. And so that's a very important distinction. A lot of the work that I've done where we study urban expansion in the Chesapeake Bay watershed is we want to understand, well, so, so if we increase urbanization by X amount, what does that mean in terms of water quality, in terms of ecosystems, in terms of a whole host of issues. So really, that is where the science comes in to utilize all the data, data sets uh, that we have from space and to give us you know, some ideas and, and answers as well.